If I just have this confidence about me, it kind of brings out swag. Try to keep a smile on my face when I'm playing because I just love basketball so much. H, she's my idol. I'm in the zone, gotta perform, gotta be willing to carry the load. We now welcome in UConn superstar Paige Beckers. Paige, thank you so much for spending some time with us here on NBA Today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Of course. So let's just dive right in. Your coach at UConn, Gino Ariema, recently asked you to stay in Connecticut, work on building your strength this summer ahead of your junior year, and he said that he told you that you do a lot for a lot of different people, and he thinks it's the right time to start putting stuff into yourself. How do you respond to that? Uh... It's hard just because, like, I'm a people pleaser and I love to do everything for other people and make sure that everybody else is taken care of. But it was kind of eye-opening for him to say that to me just because I'm like, wow, I really do focus a lot on others. And this is my first summer here healthy. So just being able to work on my game, get stronger, be in the weight room a lot. Yeah. Work on my nutrition, just things like that. Send me your plan so that I can uh, so I can get on that with you, so I can do that too. I do want to get into some NBA-related stuff here. Going back to your home state, Minnesota, you've been friends with Magic guard Jalen Suggs for years since since your AAU days, and you and Chet Holmgren went to his summer league games together. Were you hoping that he'd go number one so that you could watch them team up? Yeah, that would be <laughs> the thing, just to see where we started and like the St. Louis Park High School gyms and. I mean, we weren't really known at that point. We were still making our names for ourselves and each other. So just to see where they are now, um, both going top five in the draft and both are in the NBA, it's surreal. Absolutely. It's it's wild. But in all seriousness, we talked about that feedback that you got from Gino that you need to put time in on the strength side. And Chet has kind of gotten some of that feedback about his frame as well. You've seen him play. How do you assess his game? He's a unicorn. I mean, a lot of the scouts say it. I'm, he does everything. I mean, he's... He's tall, 7'1", or 7'2", uh, 7 foot something, but we play one-on-one. <laughs> 7 foot against, huge. Yes, exactly. We play one-on-one -on -one against each other, and he's impossible to score against. So just his defensive um, presence that he's going to bring to the NBA and him being able to do everything on offense, it's, it's going to be good for the game and for where he's at. You played one-on-one. -on -one. How did that go? Uh, I'm, <laughs> it's hard to score against him, I'll tell you that, but... Um, I think defensively, I, I held my ground pretty yeah. well, but I'm still working on creating my shot against him. I was going to say, I, I feel like he probably had a little bit of a hard time against you, too. Um, you're, you're one year into your NIL deal. How have you been using your partnership that you have with Gatorade to, to grow the women's game and, and support the women's basketball community? Yeah, with every NIL deal that I have, my focus is on giving back and prior prioritizing equity on and off the court. Um, so... When I was first working with Gatorade, there was a Gatorade's Fuel Tomorrow initiative, mm. um, which is helping younger kids and younger women and younger minorities have equal opportunities to play the game. So that was huge for me in just giving back. And I've seen how sports can change lives. So it changed mine and it, it can save lives. It can change lives. So I think it's really important for everybody to get those same opportunities. Paige, thank you so much for your time and for hanging with us here on NBA Today. You are welcome to come back at any point. Appreciate that. Is there something, one more thing I could say? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, just a president or a message to President Biden, um, the government, and anybody with high enough power to help get Brittany Griner back home. I believe it's way far due for her to come home, and she's an American. She's a hero. She's our sister in the WNBA, and she's just family to the whole United States. So, just whatever it takes to get her home, uh, I think it's definitely time. Paige, thank you so much for that message. Um, it's incredibly important. Obviously, her trial in Russia begins shortly, and we will be covering that uh, here on NBA Today. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.